YouTube comments. YouTube comments have always been trash. They've always been something that you ignore. A lot of people just turn them off. I don't, but rarely do I pay attention to them. I've, for every good one, I get at least one bad one. Usually it's around 50-50. Sometimes it's 70-30. Sometimes it's just bad ones. YouTube will never do any, there's, it's not that YouTube couldn't do anything about it, it's what would you do, I guess. I, it's up to, to the user to kind of figure out what, how they want to deal with an issue. If you're saying something that's, that's controversial, which rarely is anything really controversial, I mean, I guess if you speak politics, but even at that, that's just a he us versus them argument. That's all it's boiling down to, especially nowadays. The political environment is just total trash. The way people deal with other people in a lot of ways is trash, but people blame that on social media and blame that on however, whatever thing that's going on that day, basically. But YouTube, YouTube comments for... I'd, I'd venture to say 70-80% of them absolutely useless, completely nonsense, and even that small percent, the, the rest of that 20%, I said 80, right? Whatever percentage that was left over, I, I'm, I just, I've been thinking about this and I didn't, I really didn't have any, I really didn't have uh, something written down or an, a, a a strong idea obviously which you can comment about that why don't you anyway this boils down to how you want to deal with it so you can turn the comments off that's usually the best way to go people when you're like really giant and you have four seven ten thousand comments on a video that's just as useless as having one comment saying they don't like X, Y, or Z. Maybe, maybe every now and again you'll get something useful. Doubt it. When somebody really, when you really need to communicate with someone, you'll find a way to do that. Leaving some snarky comment on a YouTube video is not going to be... <laughs> the best way to deal with a problem. Let's say you have actually have a real problem. You're not going to go to YouTube to try to figure out... You're not going to go to YouTube comments to try to find the answer to your problem. You're just not. The content is where it's at. The content is what drives people to this platform. I don't know. I, I'll leave comments on YouTube videos, but I'll only do if I think something's really great and there's a point where I thought, wow, that's really great what you did there. If I don't like something, I'll just click away from it. I don't understand why everybody just doesn't do that. If you don't like something, you can leave a dislike too. I, you know, that's just another way of dealing with, it's a more anonymous way. It's even, that's the most anonymous because I don't know who, un, who doesn't like videos. So put it, un, if, if, if it's really that bad and the algorithm pushes the video further down when you have a lot of likes the video goes up so that's a, a more of a, a less a human less human way to deal with a problem which I'm kind of for in a lot of ways human humans are volatile all the way around algorithms are a little bit tighter computers dealing with problems and this is not the greatest thing in the world it's just a YouTube video I always forget that <laughs> people forget that I try to not forget it but this is just a YouTube video and it's just somebody standing in front of a camera or sitting or however in front of a camera speaking or doing something that hopefully other people will watch and that's just what I'm doing right here so Thanks for watching. Leave a thumbs up and subscribe and all that stuff too, if you want. I, not the, whatever. I noticed that when I say I'm going to leave two videos, there's not enough space.
because of the how it formats it. So if I like sit on the bottom, I can put two like approximately here and it'll probably overlap me and I'll put the little subscribe button. So let's do that and thanks for watching.